talk about what just happened? I'm extremely frustrated with myself right now because we just finished filming an entire food tour video over the last couple of days. And over half of the video, I just deleted in an instant by one little misclick. A menu option on our camera that has always been consistent for the two and a half years I've had it, suddenly changed. And when I went to just clear some of the memory card, it deleted the entire thing. Hard to be all smiley, cheery pal right now. Good afternoon. It is a Sunday here in Merida and it is beautiful. We just had a disastrous moment though, as you can see from Kyle's face. <laughs> yeah, I'm not too happy with myself. We had an amazing night last night yeah. and a really great start to the day today. And now it's all gone and we're halfway through the day starting all over, so. But it is a beautiful Saturday and we are excited still and we are going to enjoy this Saturday. We are going to, what are we doing today? We're going to a restaurant, watch some NFL, eat. We're gonna go ride bikes. We're gonna enjoy a beautiful Saturday and we will not let this take us down. He's yes. taken down, <laughs> let's go. It's okay. I'm not much for really rare meats. It's not like that slimy texture that you have with raw meats, you know what I mean? It's pretty good. These jalapeno poppers are massive. It's like a big, full jalapeno. Look at this thing. It's like stuffed with this cream cheese. Very homemade. Very homemade style, yeah. It's not like the little tiny jalapeno poppers. Frozen things. Frozen things, yeah. You can tell that they actually take like a full jalapeno pepper cut it open, stuff it with some cheese, and then bread it themselves. I like that it comes with the lettuce and tomato too. It kind of adds a little bit of, kind of offsets the spiciness, because they are spicy. <laughs> I like the spice though. And, oh, speaking of spice, that just went down my throat. Totally the wrong way. But what I was gonna say is we are at Hennessy's. Now, I think we've mentioned this in our videos before, but this is actually one of our favorite places which is why we had to start our Sunday tour down here. It's this really nice Irish pub style expat bar and restaurant. And you'll notice they got the football games on. And the cool thing is like, you can obviously catch the football games in a number of different places here in Merida, but they actually have the football in English here. We're massive football fans. So we typically like to start our Sundays at a place like Hennessy's. Kyle messed up by clearing out the memory card, but that's all over with because we got the food and the drinks flowing and the football's on and the music's going with my beautiful lass. We're gonna have a great day. Cheers to that. Salud. Well, after that speech, I think it's time to dig in and get on with the day. All right, so just finished up at Hennessy's. We absolutely love it there because it's one of the few English-speaking expat bars yeah, in all of Merida. English-speaking in there. Yeah, so it's a really great place to go catch the games if you're here on a Sunday, or you know if you just want to grab a bite to eat and a beer. Definitely suggest Hennessy's. But we're just walking down Paseo de Montejo right now. On Sundays, they actually block off half of this street here for bikers, rollerbladers, families to just kind of walk around and relax. They do that in the morning though, and we are way past that. We are way past that now. It's kind of like late afternoon, early evening. It's about 4.45, 5 o'clock right now. They do rent bikes down here on Paseo de Montejo, but that's also over. Yeah. Now, with that said, if you go to the end of Paseo de Montejo on Calle 47, there is a little bit of a kind of a courtyard area. Boutique hotels. Boutique hotels. And one of those hotels, from our experience a few months ago, they actually rent out bikes much later into the day. Yeah. So we're just walking there now, hoping that they will still rent us a bike so we can kind of just, you know, go for a little bit of a bike ride up Paseo de Montero. Yeah, so even if you do miss the morning blockade of the road, there is actually bike lanes all the way up and down Paseo de Montejo. So you'll easily be able to bike, scooter, do all that fun stuff still. It doesn't mean that if day's over, you can still do it all. 
on that bike lane. Yeah, the bike lane is still available. The street's not blocked off, but no. I mean, you can still rent the bike. And it's freaking hot right it, now. It gets really hot midday. So that's why when we weren't here early enough, we kind of held off until later yeah. in the evening. And it's still so hot. It's still hot. probably like 30 degrees Celsius yeah, 35 right now. 35 it is. Yeah. So, but thankfully, because the sun is kind of at a different angle, we'll be able to bike a little bit more in the shade. So that's always good. But we're good hoping we can still get our bike. They used to be here. Is the hotel gone? The hotel's gone. Should I try? I can hear people in them. One second. It says hotel. Yeah, it's the Luna Nuvea Hotel. Right here, there was a bunch of bikes if lined up. If you see, up. in the first video we ever did, it was the first, no, second video, there was bike. There was also like a little bench area right here where we had sat down. Turning into a disaster. <laughs> I don't think we're getting bikes. It's hot. You know what? Today did not go according to plan, and I think this wasn't the Sunday day out we had planned. It's not, no. but I think that this is a true reflection of just how travel goes sometimes. You know, it doesn't always go according to plan. The things you want to have happen don't always line up that way. You know the things still, you really don't want to happen kind of happen kind of happen and so you know i still love you though i still love her i think the best way to make the best of this day Jump in the pool. is to go home and call it a pool afternoon beautiful though it's a beautiful city and it's a beautiful day so i think that's why we're still smiling and laughing is because if there's anywhere to be to have a bad day this is not a bad place to have a non-ideal day it's not been a bad day it's been a pretty good day actually it's let's just... order didi it's time to order didi which for those of you that don't know and maybe you're looking to come to mexico yourself if you're looking to come to mexico and uber's not available or for whatever reason sometimes with our vpn it doesn't yeah. work for some reason our uber's not accepting us anymore yeah. it says like it cannot accept our payment method and it's like well i can you know my card's good to go bro <laughs> <laughs> so for some reason it's not accepting our card so uber we've stopped using it we are now on dd dd is like the mexican version of like the rideshare apps it's working like fabulous for and us it works really good we yeah. got little caesars we got rides <laughs> yeah they've got dd and dd eats or dd food just like uber and uber eats so you can order your food you can order a ride all that so if for whatever reason your credit card's not getting acknowledged by the uber app or vpn is kind of screwing the whole thing up it's not your card it's not the card we've used uber. the card multiple times today but uber won't accept it yeah. so we went over with Didi. the rides tend to be a little bit cheaper they you also can pay with cash you too. can pay with cash whether it be the ride share or food delivery mm -hmm. so it's a little bit more flexible and it accepts more payment methods which is nice especially when you're traveling because there is times when you're like oh my god something messed up with my card they've hauled it or something's yeah. wrong and being able to use cash uber that's the issue with uber uber if you're listening you really need to start accepting cash get on our level get uber. on the level come on well all that to say dd is an awesome alternative if you're ever in mexico definitely check out dd if uber's not working for you and it might be the solution you're looking for speaking of which we're going to call our ride head back home jump in that pool it's the only way to end today I'm loving this wind though right now. Yeah, like... This is actually a nice breeze <laughs> yeah. going on right now. It's so, so fucking hot. So we'll take it. Hola. Si. Como estas? Alright, it's the next day guys, and although yesterday didn't go according to plan, we had that whole mishap with deleting the files off of the SD card, I kind of crossed my fingers and YouTube the solution hoping that we would be able to find some way of recovering it. And if this issue happens to you, if you accidentally have that little misclick, which <laughs> after doing a little bit of search, it definitely seems like we're not the only ones to have done something like this. but. There is possibly a solution. There's possibly a way to recover some of those deleted files. And we are really hoping that we're able to do that. 
program is called Disk Drill, and I found it just after a little bit of research here. And we'll be able to put the link down in the description for you as well, so you can give it a go. It does take quite a while for it to scan your card and you know give you an idea of whether or not those files are recoverable. I wish I hadn't known about this before we started recording some of the video yesterday on top of the freshly cleared SD card. I'm hoping that doesn't reduce our chances of recovering the file. All right, so I just finished doing the whole scan now. So I don't know, I'm still a little bit iffy. It says, it gives you a little list here of the, your chances of recovery, or it says recovery chances. And for all the clips we need, it says low. So, uh, fingers crossed. This file isn't playable. That might be because the file type is unsupported, the file extension is incorrect, or the file is corrupt. This is not looking good. As you can see, Premiere Pro says the file has an unsupported compression type. If it's still not working for you, let's try an effective fix. Here, just remove the media cache files. Click on delete button and you are done. Savor everyday moments with virtual by Nespresso. Enjoy your favorite morning long cup or simply explore a variety of coffee styles. It all starts with the touch of a button. Virtual by Nespresso. Make your everyday extraordinary. So the disk drill option didn't seem to work for us. But it's not to say it wouldn't work for you, but we're gonna continue trying other programs in hopes that we can somehow salvage these files. I don't wanna to spend too much time on it, but we spent a few hours making the video, put another hour or so in to try and recover it. Um, so yeah, distro, not working. Found another one here called Recover. <laughs> Sweet, Recover. That's how it's spelled, it's like R-E-C-U-V-A. Recover. 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 See if it'll work. I'm gonna guess that it's gonna take a little while. Wouldn't it have been nice if after that song ended that this was already done? We're at four percent. So Recover has found a number of different deleted files. Unfortunately, it specifically says unrecoverable on a bunch of the ones I wanted to recover. What it also says is this file is overwritten with, and it lists a bunch of files. So it was overwritten with a file that has yet to be created. Okay, so it looks as if the file is not recoverable because I started recording over it. So if you do accidentally delete some files, do not use the card again until you get it back to your computer and you have a program that you can recover them on. I'm just clicking through the files right now. Yeah, might as well roll those dice, see if we can get them even though it says it's not recoverable. I don't understand how it can find them it finds every file I've recorded on this for months, yet it's not recoverable. There are a few files here that say they are recoverable. No overwritten clusters detected. We shall see. Okay, so just finished. It does not appear as though this is going to work. But this one does give us a little bit more of the information that we needed to know why it's not working and it's because it's saying here that the file is overwritten with a file that's currently on the card it's unfortunate we did not get to save the files but i think that's a pill after a couple hours of trying to recover them it's time to swallow and move forward but can't say we didn't do our due diligence and hopefully this helps you out if you do end up making the same mistake that we did. A, don't click delete unless you're absolutely sure and B, if you do click delete by accident, make sure to put that card away, try out disk drill, try out recover and they may be able to help you recover your files. <laughs> hopefully that helps you out and if so, make sure to smash that like button. And if you just 
got a good laugh out of this, also smashed that like button. But I think that's all for today. Bye. As I drop my phone. <laughs> oh my god. That thing going right in this video. What a disaster. What a disaster. We'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.